So this is going to be something a little different today. Um, as you can probably read in the title, uh, it was the Australian Rules Football, the AFL, um, Australian Football League Grand Final, which is the, the final um, yesterday, Saturday. Today is Sunday morning. I was going to do this video straight after, but let's just say I wasn't in the right mind to do it. Um, so I'm doing it now. But as you can probably see, my team, the West Coast Eagles, made it to the final and they won. So it was a pretty crazy day yesterday. Um, unfortunately, I live on the east coast of Australia. I was born on the west coast of Australia and grew up in Western Australia um, and been following the West Coast Eagles my whole life. Um, so I wasn't around, you know, family, friends or anything or supporters of, of the West Coast Eagles. Um, given that I'm living on the other side of the country and no one really follows the Eagles over here. So, I was a lone wolf, but let's just say I, I had to call my dad after the game to see if he was still alive because it was a as close a match as you can get um, and his heart would have been, his blood pressure would have been through the roof, and, and when I rang him, he was, yeah, he literally said, he was screaming, his voice was all hoarse, because he couldn't bloody, <laughs> he couldn't talk, because he was screaming so loud at the TV, um, but yeah, it was a, an awesome game. So what I'm going to do, something a little different, is sort of react and, and, and talk through the highlights of the game because it was an exciting game. I wouldn't do it if it was, you know, so lopsided that one team blew the other team out. And that wasn't the case. It was an amazing game and actually an amazing comeback victory. Um... So, I'll do that, um, but prior to that I'm going to play a video um, that explains AFL, but if you've never seen Australian football before, stick around, because it is something different. Um, I will, exp it's not rugby. They're, they're completely different sports. Um, but there's actually... I, I was watching yesterday and... With a perspective coming... Because I've been watching so many hockey highlights and things. And I watch the hockey rules and whatnot. There's actually a few similarities that I think are quite... Funny. Just the strategy... So, sort of locking the ball or locking the puck in your half, and there's sort of like a, a designated area that you sort of, there's no offside rules or anything like that, but there's, you, obviously you want to keep the ball in your half or the puck in your half. Um, and just things like that, you know, it's obviously a contact sport. Um, it's fast paced, it's really fast paced. Um, but yeah, just, just little things that I thought, oh, that's interesting, you know, now that I've watched another sport, there are certain things that, that, um, make the, the games as a, yeah, as a strategic, from a strategic standpoint, they're, they're similar games. 
You know, if I say something, I mean it. These things happen. Yeah. Finally, gonna get on to watching a video. Start with what is Aussie rules? So it's the ex explanation of what it is. And um, as I watch it, I'll sort of might pause it and explain things a little better. So I have watched this video before, and it gets a little confusing sometimes. But I got you back, so we'll do that. Let's watch it. What is AFL? It's got running. Now they're starting to run. It's got kicking. Yep, so you run. Kick. It's got bone on bone hits without pads. Yep. No, it's not rugby. It's Australian football. Although you might hear it called Aussie rules or even footy. This is Australia's biggest sport. So I do apologize. Um, this video was was uh, produced by the AFL for an American audience. And it has some Australian... I don't know why they didn't just get an American guy reading a script. <laughs> Instead, they got an Australian that can't do an American accent at all to try to do an American accent. You're crazy. You are crazy. You are both of you crazy! Yeah. That's exactly what I thought. But anyway, let's keep on going. So, so far, you got running, tackling, hitting each other, and you kick the ball. Let's keep on going. <laughs> is now played professionally by 18 teams in the AFL. It has the fourth highest average attendance of any domestic sports league in the world. These are some serious fans. What do you mm -hmm. say we talk basics? Aussie Let's do that. Aussie is played on a football field probably bigger than any you've ever seen, with an egg-shaped ball that takes some crazy bounces. Mm -hmm. Each team consists of 18 players on the field and four on the bench. So I'll pause it here, I might explain it a little bit to you. Because the way they explain it is, I think going forward, they'll have, you got forwards, midfielders, and defensive. So obviously in hockey, you start in the middle with the puck. And the referee drops the puck, and you have a little face-off, then you move forward. Um, obviously in this sport there's no goal tender because you, you literally kick the ball through the posts, through the uprights. So there's not, unless you were like a giant and you were 20 feet tall, you couldn't, there's not really any way for you to tend the goal anyway. <laughs> so there's no goal tender. Um, but there is a forward line, there is a defensive line, there is a midfield, um, and, and whatnot. Um, as I was explaining with the strategy, your defensive line, if it's in your forward line, your defensive line will actually come up to about midfield. Um, and it's a huge oval, as, as you saw, the comparison between the basketball and the NFL and whatever. They're tiny compared to this oval. It's, it's huge. Um, which is why you have 18, 18 aside. Um, so your, your defensive line will actually come up to about midfield. And you're trying to keep the ball in your forward line. Obviously, if they get it and run and kick... What they're trying to do is get some overlap to come back to their forward line. And, yeah, so you'll just see people just just sprint back and, yeah, they try and kick it down and try and get out of that zone sort of thing. 
Um, and that ends up being what the game is, you know. Um, and then after a goal, you'll come back to the centre again. You'll start again, much like hockey. That's another thing that's similar to hockey. It's not goal and then they get it and they kick it. Um, it's goal, back to the centre, start again. Um, which is, yeah, cool. So let's go again. Tremendous athletes. These players are basketball size with the hands and foot speed of an NFL wide receiver and stamina greater than a soccer player. Yeah, the oval's huge. You've got to be able to run a long time. The starts with a center bounce, a bit like a mm -hmm. basketball jump ball. The basic object of the game, like American football, is to move the ball down the field and score. Wants to go all the way from 45. Polia gets it back within a goal. You can move the ball three ways. Running, but you have to bounce it every 16 yards. So, I mean, it's a guesstimate. You know, 10 meters or so. Using your fist um, to hit it forward. This is called you take a, a bounce. Another skill unique to Aussie rules. Mm -hmm. nice sort of trying to use this part of the hand to hit the end of the ball. Kicking it. Like a quarterback using feet instead of hands, these guys can hit a teammate on the run at 50 yards. If the kick is a little high, a player may have to jump and make a spectacular catch. This is called a mark. Yeah, you can jump on people's backs, so it's pretty cool. That's my team there, the yellow ones, West Coast Eagles. And believe it or not, you can use the opponent as a springboard for jumping. If you take a mark, you can keep going, or you can stop on the spot and take an unimpeded kick. That's why it's called a mark, because essentially you're catching it and you're, you're setting a mark for the other team to, to not impede you. That's a goal through the two upright. Yep, six points. It doesn't matter if it's on the ground or in the air. Or send it between the big post and the outer lower post, it's worth one point and is called a behind. A final score line might look something like this. This is sort of like an unrealistic... The average point is probably around about 80, 80, 90 points in a game. By the way, there's no offside rule. Don't get us wrong, there are positions. Defenders defend. Forwards mm -hmm. go forward. And midfielders, mm -hmm. yep, play in midfield. This is better from Hawthorne. We know what a good kick he is, but he sets Hill up the line outside. He goes back into Hale. 70 metres out, too far to score. Gives off here to Suckling. Suckling with a low belter. Players go in all shapes and sizes. The Fremantle Dockers have 5'8 Hayden Ballantyne, 6'3 Nate Fife, and 7 footer Aaron Sanderlands. You can tackle hard, but not too high or low. It has to be between the shoulders and the knees. There are four quarters of 20 minutes, but like soccer, time is added on for stoppages of play. The extra time can be as much as 10 additional minutes. Yeah, AFL teams probably play the average game the probably goes for about 90 games. minutes. The top eight teams make the playoffs, whereas they're called in Australia the finals. Eventually, mm -hmm. two teams meet in the championship game or the grand final. It's Australia's Super Bowl and is played every year in the magnificent Melbourne Cricket Ground in front of 90,000 plus. It's a big deal. So there was about 100, 120,000. Around about over 100,000 yesterday, which is a huge turnout. That's because one of the teams was a Melbourne based team, Collingwood. So their supporters were huge. Um, yeah. You get a cup too, which is also a smaller cup though than the Stanley Cup, but you still get a cup. <laughs> so that's it, that's Aussie rules. Um, 
which is cool. Now, this is going to be a really long video, so hopefully you can stick around. Um, but let's check out the let's check out the actual game from yesterday. West Coast vs Collingwood. Let's do this. It's my team. Is West Coast Eagles and we gone against Collingwood 1892. They were established. So we're in blue, obviously blue and yellow, which is probably pre pretty clear from the logos. Now it's blue and yellow, and there was this black and white. So yeah. horrible kick, yeah. It was a pretty poor effort in the first quarter. That dude up that was just on the screen was uh, the president of the Collingwood Club. He's a loser. He's a big loser. Yeah, they got ahead. Um, it was kind of sad. now finally getting out. Redden's kick was smothered. McGovern gone. Yep. So there's rules if you, if you don't dispose of the ball properly when you get tackled and you drop it, um, you get you get a the other team gets a free kick essentially. Um, they the team can choose to play on if it's um, to their advantage, or the umpire sometimes does call it back and say no nah, no nah, bring it back. This is just ridiculous, this goal, because, like, poor tackling, just, and just snaps it. This is where my butthole started <laughs> to get about this big. Because <laughs> I was like, we're just going to get blown out, you know? We hadn't even scored a goal at this point. Two points, two behinds. <laughs> Again, you know, just. Yeah. There's a minute 40 left in the first quarter. And we hadn't even scored a goal. That was our first goal. And it was the most ridiculous goal. Now it hits his shin before it passes the goal line. So, yeah. Had his foot still been on the ball as it was passing, it would have been a behind. Because you can't kick past the line. If you know what I mean. You can't have Tuppy touching the ball. That was a good hit. Bang. So, yeah. He's such a rangy athlete, isn't he? I said couldn't go, but it, Hoskin Elliott's effort to yep. get there was the only reason. Well done. And Great off. work rate. My check did well to draw McGovern out. And now to Goey! To Goey! Oh, yes, he does! <laughs> Two of the very best. This bloke here with the glasses on, the old bloke, yeah. He's a. The Pendlebury kick around the corner. Loser. Under pressure was to Law. Main under real pressure. That sh yeah, that should have been dropping the ball, but anyway. West Coast in desperate need of a goal here. They really. So this is yeah we started picking up to the to the end of the second quarter um, and taking control of the game. Look at that, that was a beautiful goal. Snaps it. 
So yeah, a couple of goals in it. Um, we really had control of the game in that last half. Now that guy. You'll see him in a bit. This one. Mason Cox. Now he is the first American to play in an AFL Grand Final. So he actually went to Oklahoma State University um, and studied engineering and he was a walk-on for the Oklahoma State basketball team. He's about seven foot tall. Um, I don't think he played much, but he was invited to um, each year in Austra uh, the Australians go over to the US and have an international combine in Los Angeles um, to try and recruit, obviously, athletes from around the globe to come and play. Um, because it's such a different game, obviously, the skill set you have to have to be able to run and kick the ball is is it's comparable to <laughs> someone trying to um i guess put if yeah yeah if i went and tried to play hockey well let's just say i was an athlete i would have to learn to skate first that in itself to be an elite skater is pretty ridiculous. <laughs> it's like I was watching that thing. Um, who was it? One of the football American footballers said it'd be easier for him to go play hockey than it would be for a hockey player to come play American football. Well, that's just ridiculous because hockey is such a specialty sport. You have to be able to... Yeah, you have to be able to skate first uh, American football not saying they're not as talented but if you can run, jump catch a ball then you can at least play it you know you probably won't be able to play it professionally but you can at least play it if you can't skate then you, you can't play hockey you know and that's it's similar in, in that essence that um To be able to run on an oval that size for 90 minutes as well as tackle, that's the difference between soccer and this, you actually get hit. Um, being hit, being able to kick the ball straight. Um, yeah, it's all it's all hard. The 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 people that have the most um i guess accomplished the most in australian rules at an international level are the irish um because they have a sport gaelic football that is played with a soccer ball but has similar rules you do pick it up and kick it um and so a lot uh, uh, there's been a few irish players that have come across and played professionally in Australia um, and have done well. Um, but yeah, Mason Cox is the first American to actually have success. Um, and it's mainly due to his size because <laughs> there's not a lot of seven-footers. So the guys at the start that do the tap, obviously like the centres in, in basketball, um, and so he's used as a ruckman, but then he usually goes down forward, um, and he's learnt to mark his kicking skills. He's accurate, but let's just say he can't kick it very far. He has a limited, um, obviously the more power you put into the kick, the less accurate you're going to be, so it takes time to develop that skill, um, and he hasn't quite developed it yet. He can't kick it, kick it very far um but yeah he's done well so yeah you know, i'll stop rambling about all that and um get back to it
as you can see, is quite a low kick. But he was accurate. It's coming his way. Got a good run and jump it at here, Kennedy. Big bat. Gold sack able to spoil it down. Main under real pressure. Rioli. Spin. Trips. Goal. Superb from the Eagles. Rioli. That was a nice little spin. They're good one on one players, the Rioli. We know their history. Twice this is where we start putting the pressure on. Grundy got a good bounce. Doesn't kick it all that well. Gets it to about 45 metres. McGovern went early to go. He was at the back. Can Barco get it to the go? And the umpires bounce it. So the ball can essentially go anywhere. They're quite good. But sometimes it... McGovern, little one over the top to Kennedy. He's pursued by Gold Sacks. Dewey, real quick handball giveaway. So the Eagles back inside. 50 off the boot of Redden. High ball. Almost, almost. Gold Sack in there. Kennedy it gets, obviously, you know, the faster paced it becomes, the sloppier it looks. You know, it's, <laughs> they're all over the place, you know. But that's what grand finals are generally like, you know. You're trying to... You're desperate, you know. Adams, Things change when you're desperate. Who's runner was on a check to who's runner that is by town with you. Calling with a cut to put West Coast in front for the first time. So yeah, a runner is a a guy that comes out and gives feedback to certain players from the coaches or can bring out water, things like that. Finally hit the lead. And it was all tied up 55-55 to lead into the last quarter. We do. We do get a classic finish. Oh, they're out of their seats again. Back in the middle we go. The lice head kick was partially smothered. Greenwood's got to split the middle. He did. Side bottom. Gets it off. To Joey. Bang. My butt went like that again at this moment. <laughs> because I got ahead by two goals. And it, yeah, it's just... I was like, no! But it worked out. He missed, by the way. Yeah. There he is. Big Cox, mate. Here we go. So yeah, 72-74. Two minutes, 30 left. Liam Ryan, nice little mark. Plays on, gets it forward. Could have got, he could have got pinged for playing on there, but the, the umpire let him go back and have a shot. This bloke's an absolute legend. To put him in front, bang. And then he goes at the opposition crowd and says, "Fuck you." They're all crying, the other coaches all crying. <sighs> so yeah. And that's the club song in the background. Yep. Came back. 14, 31, 27, 39, these are each quarters. 55, 55, and then we won it. We did it. We won. We've now won four. We came in, we were, we were only accepted into the Australian League in 1986. Um, 
so not long ago. It used to just be the Victorian League, and then they slowly branched out and accepted South Australia, and then New South Wales, Queensland, and and whatnot. Um, to to bring it to make it Australia, the whole of Australia, obviously. Flights and that got cheaper. <laughs> um, it was easily easier for athletes to travel. I was just joking, um, but yeah, it was easier for athletes to travel. Obviously, the the branding and the marketing got bigger, and the league itself got bigger. So yeah, nineteen eighty six, um, we won the first grand final in 92 and then again in 94 and then we were in a couple um we lost one in 05 and then we came back and beat the same team in 06 so that was a good back-to-back -back finals it was the two same two two teams um and then again 2015 we made it we lost now 2018 we made it we won so yeah 92 94 06 and 18 since 86 so four championships since 86 so we've we've done well so far um i think we have one of the highest winning percentages of you know time in the league versus yeah but that's it i hope you enjoyed it something different um thought i'd share it with you because it was freaking awesome um sorry about the language i did use some 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 bad language there yeah. guys on that terribly sorry also <laughs> what more can i say um but yeah i'm gonna get back to the the hockey i've actually got a few to watch um and i'm gonna start watching the sports now it's 100 greatest players um, I think of last season, yeah, um, and start watching those, and, um, make that into a little series, and, uh, yeah, if you want to watch me, maybe I might do a, a season, um, on the NHL 04, the game. Um, and see if I can obviously get better and make it to the playoffs and whatnot. Um, so if you want to see that, comment and let me know if that's something that's you're interested in. Um, other than that, like, subscribe, comment. And I'm glad I could share a little bit of information, share something that I like. And, um, yeah, see you in the next one.